Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video I'm going to show you how to enter test sequence on a heat pump Electrolux made uh, tumble dryer. Now this one is actually made by John Lewis. They also uh, manufacture under the brands of AG and Zanussi and this does not apply to all machines but it will give you an idea of uh, how to get into test mode and also be able to understand what might not be working. I'll also do another video later uh, on stripping down this machine to identify the parts and help you to actually find out what the problem is and also how to do the filters and service the machine. But uh, to get into test mode we need to press two buttons while turning the machine on. So I'm just going to zoom the camera in for you on this. Right, to enter diagnostic mode is quite an easy procedure but sometimes it can take two or three attempts to try and get in. I've also put my test meter on top of the machine so we can actually see what functionality is going on. In other words, what ampage is being drawn at certain times so we can understand the sequence. Now, quickly let me explain. Heat pump tumble dryers use a refrigeration process to heat up the air and also condense the liquid and it dries the clothes on a much more economic basis therefore not using as much electricity. A normal tumble dryer would be drawing 8-9 amp when it's drying. It will dry much quicker but the fact of the matter being is it's not as efficient over a two hour period uh, this may only use a small amount of electricity compared to a normal dryer, but a normal dryer will use much more electricity. Um, right, and it will dry the clothes much better. The uh, heat pump dryers are quite good, but they do take a lot longer. Uh, they don't shrink clothes and things like that. So, to get into diagnostic mode, when you turn it on, you can see that the dial comes up as normal. Okay? And these electronic ones, which have got the electronic um, display, whenever you turn them off, they will normally start in the extra dry, the one o'clock position. So treat this as a dial uh, on a clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and so on, although there's more settings than that. Um, extra dry, when we get into diagnostic mode, will be C1. So we need to turn it off. Now, to enter diagnostic mode, at the same time as you see the lights display, press the delay start and the start pause button together and hold them down for five seconds. Now, it doesn't always happen first time, but we'll try it. And there we go, straight into diagnostic mode. I'm quite impressed with myself there. Um, okay, so now my meter's not perfectly calibrated, but C1, which we're in at the moment, shows you that all the lights are working. C2 is the pump at the back of the machine which collects the water and pumps it up to our dispenser. C3 is anti-clockwise rotation with the pump running as well. Now here we can see that the ampage is about 0.8, it's flicking around 0.8. Uh, when we get to the compressor mode in a couple more clicks, we should see an ampage of about 2 to 3 amps, depending on the size of the compressor. So the next one is the cooling fan for the compressor. This is at the bottom of the machine and this is what blows air when the compressor gets hot over the compressor to keep it cool. The next one is clockwise rotation of the drum without the compressor running. C5. So we've got clockwise rotation and we're drawing 0 0.8, 0 0.9 it's on a slightly faster speed. Now the next one you can't test on, off, on, off, you know, testing the sequences because a refrigeration compressor, when it starts, has to have at least five minutes to cool down and take the load off the compressor before it can restart. So the computer will protect 
the compressor by not letting it start or the uh, protection relay or uh, cutout stat on the compressor would stop it going into overload. So the next one, C6, we can see two amps being drawn. So point 8 is the motor turning the drum and 1.2 is roughly the size of the compressor. Now the next one I do not know what it is but I know that Quick and Wool on this one hold the error code and I think uh, one of them clears the error code but I haven't got the workshop manual on this so I can only tell you from my notes and other bits and pieces which I have. So if we turn it on to time that noise you can hear is the compressor gases which are just basically the pressure is dropping and the noise will dissipate in a few minutes okay quick C8 this is holding the previous error code which was error code 32 now I'm going to publish all the error codes for these heat pump dryers on the website so just follow the links above or in the description below the next one which is wool C9 also holds the error code I believe one of these may clear the error code once they've been selected, but I'm not too sure on the process for this. The rest, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14, C15, C16, I believe are all to do with factory testing. Uh, then it will go back into C1, which we're at at the moment, and this tests all the lights on the machine. So uh, quickly we'll go through them again, but this time when we get to blanket, which is actually the compressor running, the compressor may not start because it needs five minutes. So two is the pump. Three, clockwise, anti-clockwise rotation with the pump running. C4, cooling fan for the compressor. C5, clockwise rotation without the compressor running. C6 should be the compressor running again but as I said this time when I turn it on the compressor doesn't kick in because it's got a time period it's got to allow for the compressor to depressurize so no load comes on the compressor so this test on C6 yeah C6 can only be done once every 10 minutes to actually test the compressor so do be aware of that also note when you turn it out of test mode and turn it back on again ELE may appear and it will go into automatic starting of the compressor with right hand rotation the next time you turn it off it will now go back into its normal set mode and now you're ready to use the machine as normal in the next video I'll show you how to strip the machine down and at the website I'll put a full list of all the error codes for you to help you. I hope you found this video helpful, please remember to shop with us, thanks very much indeed for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, remember, you can always donate to the website by clicking on the Bipolar Beer page. Thanks for watching.